We are Cindy and Eddie. And this is Please the Day. We start another beautiful morning on Route 66 heading east towards Chicago. This sunrise is beautiful and we wanted to share it with you. In an effort to show you more than just a repeat of gas stations, hotels, motels, and restaurants, we're focusing our efforts on some of the more entertaining things along the way. We are at Paris Springs Junction right now. Look at the size of that sign. And that has signs on it that say this is Gary's Garage. Get these classic cars here. You should definitely come check this one out. Check out this antique, antique shop. Of course, we continue to find some beautiful B-roll, like classic cars, great views, and long, beautiful drives. One of the cities we stopped in was Lebanon, Missouri. This is one of those cities that really appreciates the fact that they have Route 66 running through it. They even have some of those Burma Shave signs for you to enjoy. But Route 66 isn't all the history they have. This is Camp Joy, one of the first camps set up for travelers along Route 66 in 1927. First starting off as a tent camp and gradually becoming more modern. In 2019, the last existing cabin was restored and moved to Boswell Park. We're gonna take just a moment to look at our Route 66 library and museum and gift shop. This is a free museum, but they do accept donations. And we're gonna sign in. Look at these models they have. Do you recognize a couple of them maybe that we might have filmed along the way? There is a lot of information in this museum about Route 66. That's a pretty awesome map right there. Check that out. I was always curious about the National Old Trails Road. A lot of people are trying to resurrect this. This tiny museum was so full of great information, there just wasn't enough time to see it all and appreciate it all. It's on our list of places we want to return to. Check out some of these early motoring pieces of gear. Just a little look at what some of the stops look like back in the day. Here we have another one of the cabins that was set up so that you can look inside and see how it was back then. This has a whole bunch of clippings from newspapers over the years of Route 66. You should definitely check it out. And they have a gift shop if you're interested in anything in there. The amazing thing about Route 66 is you never know what you're going to see along the way. From buffalo, rockets, and some beautiful bridges. It really feels like everybody has an opportunity to express themselves as much as they want. Not only are people free to express themselves, they're kind of expected to. One town that's really taken to being able to express themselves however they want is Uranus. And I think this tour stop is a prime example of what you can really do when you let your mind run away with itself. Let's take a look around here, shall we? You can come have your face put on a poster. Somebody got busted. And all too soon, it's time to move on. This byway is from the 1926 to 1941 era. We don't know why this was called Devil's Elbow Bridge, but it wasn't a good area. Before we get too much further, have you noticed how many classic cars we've shown you in this video alone? 
There it is, the world's second largest rocking chair. We are at the Fanning Outpost General Store. They open about 10 o'clock in the morning. First mural we see on Route 66 in Cuba, Missouri. Cuba, Missouri has a lot of murals and they all look fantastic. You should definitely drive around and check them all out. And while you're here, if you wanted to stop and get yourself something to eat, well, I know a place. And another great city that's worth stopping in is St. Louis, Missouri. Of course, there's more to see here than just an arch. They do have the Cardinals. However, I will say that the Cardinals are not too far away from the St. Louis Arch. This is one of those structures that personally marvels me. The fact that it's just so massive and you can ride an elevator up to the top and overlook the city boggles my mind. We didn't partake in that opportunity because of COVID and traffic, but we did enjoy the view. Continuing down the road, we found something that was going to keep Eddie entertained for hours. This is an antique mall right here on Route 66. But better than that, there's an attached diner, which serves some of the best ice cream either one of us had had in a long time. Chocolate and vanilla and pumpkin and vanilla. In addition to having ice cream, which is really good, this is swap meat kind of-esque store. A lot of interesting things in here. I hope we don't take too much time looking around. Yes, we both lost track of time but we gotta keep moving on. Did you count up those classic cars earlier? Now I've got some more numbers for you. Check out Country Classic Cars. This is a place that you can go and actually purchase ready to roll classic cars. Not only do they have some beautiful pieces, they have a lot of, this is four pages worth. Just a random thing that's along Route 66. They have this prairie field they have reserved for butterflies. It's pretty cool. How many of you would have thought that we would have recorded a Route 66 prairie to put in a video? Normally people are trying to preserve the cars and the buildings and the signs, but somebody went out of the way to save a little piece of the prairie. Thank you so much for doing that because that's pretty awesome. We are in Springfield, Illinois. The reason we are in Springfield is because right along Route 66 is Lincoln's home. We're gonna go check that out. How many of you know the history of Abraham Lincoln and how he came up from living in a log cabin and worked his way up to become a lawyer and then president? A quick map to show you where everything is. We've shown you a couple of the houses in this neighborhood, including Lincoln's. A lot of them are really nice. They look really great. I would not have minded living here myself. On the other hand, it was a rough time back then. That's the house that he was last living in before he took the White House.
This roadside attraction was placed here in honor of Abraham Lincoln because this is the only town that named itself after Abraham Lincoln before he became president. It's been voted as one of America's best roadside attractions. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.